Well, there are new details this morning surrounding the bizarre twist in the trial of Boston's infamous mob boss, James Whitey Bolter, a possible witness for the prosecution who's been waiting decades to testify against Bolter was found dead a day after he learned he wouldn't be called to the stand after all. Ron Claiborne has been covering this story and is here with the latest. This really does play out like a movie script. Right? You know, Bianca, this really is a mystery here. At first it looked to police like it was a suicide, and now they're saying it's suspicious, even though they have no idea how 58-year-old Stephen Rakes, a man who more than anything in the world wanted to testify against Bolger at his murder and racketeering trial, how he died. What or just maybe who killed Stephen Slippo Rakes? Investigators now reportedly believe that Rakes' body may have been dumped onto a road in a wealthy Boston suburb and that he didn't kill himself as first thought. What's baffling, he had no wallet or ID on him, but there were no visible signs of trauma, and the results of an autopsy that were just released are inconclusive. Rakes was eager to testify against former Boston mob boss James Whitey Bulger. He was very much looking forward to testifying. Rakes was expected to say that 30 years ago, Bulger personally threatened his life to get him to turn over his South Boston liquor store to his alleged gang. 30 years ago, I'd never look at him. Now I can't wait to look him right in the eyes. And now his day has come. Earlier the day he disappeared, prosecutors had told Rakes he would not be called to testify after all. At Bulger's trial Friday, dramatic testimony from his former pal and partner, Stephen the Rifleman Flemmy. Flemmy recounted several murders that he says he committed with Bulger, including the shocking killing of Flemmy's girlfriend in his own home because they felt she knew too much. Flemmy, he said, I'll take it, I'll do it. He grabbed her around the neck and strangled her. Prosecutor, what did you do? Flemmy, nothing. I was in that courthouse and those were really chilling words to hear. One juror was crying as Flemmy actually in a very matter-of-fact tone, told that story. He also testified that Bolger plotted to kill two people to stop them from testifying at trials. Flummy, by the way, is serving life for murder and racketeering, same kinds of charges that uh, Bolger is and, and there's palpable tension in the courtroom between these two well, men. Well, these right? two, two guys do not like one another. At the end of the session on Thursday, they stood and stared and glared at one another uh, and mouthed, didn't say out loud, some rather uh, sharp expletives.